October 25th, a friend of mine found me and I could tell she was greatly disturbed. She told me there was a very strange feeling in the bathroom of the cage scene. Multiple people were in the bathroom of that room, so they should have had the comfort of knowing they were not alone, but they didn't. Each of them were seeing shadows lurking about in the darkness, and they all felt the very uncomfortable feeling, like something wasn't right. I did my best to comfort her and told her to let me know if something bad happens. She burst into the love triangle room with tears in her eyes and shaking along with others and saying that there was a girl possessed. I followed her straight away. As I entered the cage scene, there was an actor trying to wake the girl up. She seemed frozen solid, sitting on the end of the hospital gurney used for the attraction. She gazed into the darkness straight ahead, refusing to blink. The room was now overcrowded, people piling in to find out what the commotion was about. Everyone started freaking out and crying. I had to get them out of their room, so I did. Now with the door shut, I was alone with the girl and the other actor who was trying to get her to respond. He had some medical knowledge, so I thought it was wise for him to be in there. She was in a trance, gazing into the darkness. I watched as he took his hand and motioned as if he was going to smack her in the face, stopping the palm of his hand an inch in front of her eyes, and she never even moved. She never flinched. She didn't even blink. She was lifeless. He made her lie back on the gurney. Then she closed her eyes. He did everything he could to get her to respond, but she wouldn't. Now, refusing to open her eyes, he poured water on her face. No reaction. Both of us were loudly pleading for her to open her eyes. No response. The entire time that this was going on, I fought back the urge in the pit of my stomach that grew and grew and grew. That urge was to address it in the only way that I knew how. There was so much activity and it affected so many people. I'm fully aware it's hard to believe that everything was demonic, but in my heart, I knew that's exactly what it was. But some people didn't want to believe that. And though I understand it kept me from opening my mouth sooner, but as I watched this girl seemingly dying right in front of us, I could stay silent no longer. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your eyes. Instantly, her eyelids began to flutter, and they started to open, but with such resistance, they couldn't open all the way. Even louder, I said, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to open your eyes now. They open halfway, still, something fighting to keep them shut. The other person in the room looked at me shocked that what I did actually worked. He didn't have the words. Then she started choking. And without saying a word, I knew we were on the same page. Whether he wanted to or not, he understood what we were dealing with. He said, we gotta get her out of this room. I agreed. We took her downstairs to the second floor where she had a seizure and ended up having to go to the hospital. Though most people who were not involved in the events just believed it was the strobe lights or something else that caused such a weird reaction from her. Every actor in the cage scene, including myself who witnessed this firsthand, knew exactly what this was. The events would get worse. <laughs>